Hi, this is Squat, and in this video, I want to tell you about Wnt and uh, TGF beta signaling. Wnt and TGF beta are molecules that tell cells to do things, and uh, almost all cells can receive Wnt and TGF beta signal, so it's very important. But it's most important probably in stem cell setting. Here is a stem cell. And stem cell has to live in a niche. So these are the cells that make up the niche for the stem cell. And this stem cell is going to duplicate, make a copy of itself. But the copy is not stem cell, but rather a progenitor cell. And this progenitor cell is going to now be able to differentiate and eventually become a differentiated and specialized cell that's going to be able to do some work. And in this system, the niche tells the stem cell to duplicate and these duplicated progenitor cells to move forward and the niche do this communication with the molecule went the final differentiated cells tell everything before that to slow down your copying and slow down your uh, differentiation and these communication is done with tgf beta so overall went wants to drive duplication and differentiation and TGF beta wants to stop that process from happening and this is a nice balance it's like the yin yang of uh, cell differentiation and it's important to know that the wind is not soluble the wind's going to act locally and TGF beta is also not soluble but it's a little bit more soluble than wind so TGF beta can act in a little bit of wide range but still local. This Wnt and TGF beta signaling is common in almost all cell types, but they work in a local environment. And finally, when there's injury or any kind of a situation where your body needs to grow, repair, etc., you might think that you'll just have a lot of Wnt, but that's not true. You'll also have a lot of TGF beta in the environment. This is because when there's a lot of cell division, differentiation, proliferation, there has to be check from TGF beta. Wnt and TGF beta is like in the end of cell growth. When there is growing signal, there has to be suppressing signal that balances that homeostasis.